Okay, how are you six guys doing down there? Woo! Almost Woo! strong. <laughs> Good. I'm uh, 29. Feel way older than 29. Everybody's getting married. I had a buddy go home early the other night because uh, they're trying to have a baby to his wife. And she said, I, I need to go home. My wife is oscillating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that sounds. <laughs> Your wife's just in the room just <laughs> waiting to have a baby. <laughs> just wait, ovulating. I think he meant ovulating, so it's fine. <laughs> also, in that phase where like I'm not fat, but I'm not skinny. You know, I mean, like that uh, open dress shirt phase. <laughs> um, Button it up, just side on. I look fine. And straight on is fine, but anything up close, not so fine. So I'm glad there's nobody here uh, to see that. Right? Uh, I'm not pretty enough to put Amazon wish lists on my profile. Let's just put it that way. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's a thing, hey, COVID hit, and all the pretty girls are like, oh my god, I need free shit. I need you guys, here, here's, here's my OnlyFans, and then here's a list of stuff that I want. Anything. I can't do that. I do that. I can get maybe Burger King coupons. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. It doesn't grow in the app. <laughs> uh, also, got my own place recently, which is great. First time I've been living alone. Yeah. Yeah, no, just <laughs> no, just drive by myself. There's no difference, really. Um, I move out of my last place because I realized my my last roommate was a psychopath. Uh, and here's the sign, okay? He showered in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I saw. Well, I didn't see it. Thank God. Uh, but you know, you there's signs. You know, like the light not being on. That's the main one. I think. <laughs> You walk past the door, like, oh, there's no light on in there. Is he, but the shower's going. Is he doing his homework? What's going on in there? I, uh, you know, I noticed a toothbrush in there. I don't know how you do that in the dark. You know what I mean? Like, I know where my stuff is. But, if, you know, you gotta make sure it's clean. You know what I mean? You gotta look. You gotta get that mirror and look. <laughs> like, I don't know if I, you know, if I cleaned up well enough after. I did some stuff. You know, I don't need, I need to finish this thing. <laughs> <laughs> he also, uh, second, second sign that he was a psychopath, he uh, tried to argue with me while wearing a robe. <laughs> Not great uh, argument attire, I think. If you're going to try to argue with somebody, you know, don't let me see your ankles. You know what I mean? It kind of takes away the strength of your argument. <laughs> so I moved out. And I miss him. Not going to lie. Uh, I miss the conflict. I was going to go home and argue with myself. You guys like VR? In the VR at all? Woo! No? All right, one person knows what it is. <laughs> it's new here, just got in Toronto yesterday. Uh, <laughs> I saw this weird VR, it was an ad online for uh, virtual reality, but it was, you know, because VR can take you anywhere, right? You can go on a roller coaster, you can, you know, throw an apple off the Statue of Liberty, whatever you want to do. This VR was for uh, visiting anywhere in the world, uh, libraries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if anybody's asking for that, you know? It's like, you know what, I, it's great that I can go through a haunted house and go on a roller coaster while sitting down, but what I want to do is check out a book in Bulgaria. Can I do that? In the dark? Is there lights on in the library? Uh, I'm trying to get a cat. And I uh, can't find a free cat, guys. There's a, there must be like a an epidemic of no free cats, because I've gone on Kijiji and found nothing. <laughs> uh, and honestly, I don't know where else you look. Where else you look for a free cat? I'm actually asking where, because I can't find one. <laughs> I cannot find a free cat. I'm kind of nervous to get a free cat, though, because the word free to me is uh, also means kind of crap. You know, it, like if you got a free shirt, you just got a hole in it or something. Like I don't want a wonky cat with like one eye looking up, like a hide in the closet when company comes over. I already do that with my uh, my girlfriend, so there's no room in there. <laughs> or a dog, you know, whatever. But uh, you know, but then they die. So why bother? You know, it was just gonna die. Some of your dogs way too long, way too long. So so if you have a dog, all right, and it's 16 or more, it's time to it's time to put it to sleep. It's time, okay? It's like it's too old. It's like walking in a room bumping and stuff like it's a Roomba. It's barking <coughs> like the batteries in its throat are dying, you know what I mean? <coughs> Is somebody at the door? He's looking at the wall. 
hit too close to home. Is that what happened there? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in there is a dying dog. Well, let's keep talking about it. My man's dead. Let's just go on with it. This is being recorded, so I can throw it out later. Uh, <laughs> we had a proper burial. All right, we didn't like throw her in the in the lake like we did my grandfather. Uh, but we got to cremate it, which is I don't understand uh, cremation at all. Do you guys what do you think cremation or burial? Cremation? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, somebody didn't like that choice. Uh, and I don't like that choice. I understand, you know, it's like, well, at, at her funeral, we had, you know, we had the photo of Nan, and then we had the urn next to, uh, you know, what she used to look like before the fire got to her. You know? She didn't get out. She got trapped on the third floor. Uh, and my mom, I was with my sister, my mother was like, hey, you know, let's, let's get a photo with, with Nan and be your last photo with her. Like, I think my last one of Nan was when she was alive on the couch. This is not, that's not Nan. Okay, that's, and she was a smoker. So it's almost like full circle, you know? <laughs> ashes to ashes. <laughs> the weirdest thing about cremation for me is people always, it's never like, hey, just get me cremated, and that's that. It's always like, hey, get me, get me cremated, and then, uh, you know, spread me somewhere. Now I'm doing a task. Now I'm going to do a task for you. And it's always in a weird place. Like, hey, remember that park where we first saw Billy get on a swing, toss me in there, in a Ziploc. You got to bring him in a Ziploc, because the urn is too, he can't carry it around too much. It's too big. We did that with Nan, you know, we spread over action in a little Ziploc bag. We try to look for the good, you know, side of things. So it's like, oh, look, Nan always loved fresh sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> then you toss her in the ear. Oh, you suck at a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she also had uh, she had diabetes, guys, which is not it's not funny. It's not a funny matter. But she was one of those people that had diabetes that just didn't care. You know, she had like a drawer of chocolate bars and everyone over there. And he tried to tell her, listen man, you gotta lay off the bars, okay? It's, it's just too many, okay? You're gonna lose your feet. And she just replied, Well, you know, I got two. She also, when my grandfather passed away, she wanted to go on, you know Plenty of Fish, you know that website? Where losers go to look for love for free? <laughs> uh, I was on it once. Uh, <laughs> she wanted me to hook her up on Plenty of Fish, hook her up, she didn't use that term, but she wanted me to get her on Plenty of Fish. And not even for something romantic, she just wanted a guy to come over and like, put a clothesline up. You know? <laughs> you don't know. Uh, I'm Gary, guys, this has been a thing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>